Did you know that the first use of an epidural was recorded in 1885 by New York neurologist J. Leonard Corning when he injected cocaine into the back of a male patient suffering from seminal incontinence and spinal weakness? Well, today, over 50% of women use, choose, to use the, choose to use epidurals during childbirth, and most of you may already know how difficult and how painful childbirth can be through your own experience, through someone else's, or through watching TV and movies. As a doula and a student midwife, it is important to me to ensure that my clients have the tools and the resources to make informed decisions when mapping out their birth plan. In today's speech, I will present to you the risks and the benefits of using epidurals during childbirth. First, let's talk about the benefits. Epidurals can promote rest and preserve energy for early stages of labor. I've witnessed in my own experience as a doula, mothers resting shortly after receiving an epidural. It also provides a sense of relief and comfort. In Ryoka Harika and Lynn Clark Callister's 2012 Journal of Perinatal Education, it explains how epidurals can effectively minimize pain in the study of nine women. It can also reduce trauma or stress associated with intense pain, creating enhanced maternal well-being. It is also studied that it is useful for cesarean births. In the May 23, 2016 article, Weighing the pros and the cons of the epidural of the epidural by Katie Rose, she explains that an epidural can be beneficial to cesarean births as it allows the mother to be alert and it is less harmful than general anesthesia. <clears throat> On the other hand, risks such as postpartum hemorrhaging shows that women were twice as likely to experience postpartum bleeding if an epidural was used during labor. Drops in the mother's blood pressure can cause a decrease in the baby's blood supply, which could be dangerous and can lead to a, and can lead to an emergency C-section. According to the January 3, 2008 Epidural's Risk and Concerns for Mother and Baby by Dr. Sarah Buckley, up to 50% of women using up to 50% of women using an epidural during labor experience hypotension. Instrumental delivery is also a huge risk. In the conventional obstet obstetric mobile epidural trial, 37% of women who received an epidural experienced instrumental birth. This can cause a displacement of the baby's skull, of the baby's skull bone, and cause a blood clot underneath the scalp. Another risk would be slowing down labor due to their effects on the laboring woman's release of oxytocin, which is a natural love hormone um, that allows her uterus to contract naturally. On average, the first stage of labor is 26 minutes longer in women who use an epidural. Epidurals release the release, reduce the release of CAs, which is, um, which is a hormone that, that um, makes the urge to push babies harder. In conclusion, while epidurals can provide effective pain relief for, laboring for, the, for a laboring woman, they can also pose detrimental risks sensitive to one situation. Knowing this information, how will you help make informed decisions? This topic is of great use, of, is of great importance as it, as it directly affects the experiences in, of countless mothers and their children.